Um, why'd you do this? Why'd you get into this? Um, about 12 years ago, I was doing a postdoctoral program, and I met a quadriplegic uh, who I began visiting on a daily basis. Mm. And um, I just found that there were so many little repetitive tasks that he seemed to need every day mm -hmm. that unless there was someone always with him, he just couldn't get them accomplished. Mm -hmm. And I was working part-time for B.F. Skinner and was familiar with what he could do with animals. And it just occurred to me that an animal, one with hands, um, would probably be able to do many of these little simple tasks that a quadriplegic couldn't. Mm. Um, how did you come to know, you know, what, uh, how, I mean, were you working with uh, monkeys before? Uh... No, no, I had never worked with any monkeys. And I called up a number of primate centers and asked for the resident expert. <laughs> Get out of here, Chrissy. Okay. Uh -huh. and, um, all three primate centers said, uh, if you're going to do this, do it with a small capuchin, yeah. organ grinder monkey. And yeah. these are considered the brightest of the small monkeys. Um, they're obviously agile. <laughs> She's yeah. being a little over agile at the moment. Yeah. Um, and they've been the choice of entertainers and royalty down through the centuries. Um, they can, if they're raised from an early age, they're very, very tame, very loving, and they can coexist fairly well with people. Mm -hmm. How long does it take? And first of all, I'm, I'm wondering, where do you get these monkeys from now? Because we've always heard about the monkeys and primates becoming more and more difficult to find. Okay. Um, capuchins are not an endangered species, but it is the case it would be totally inappropriate to take one from the wild. First of all, you, it would never be suitable for something like this. Mm. Um, we have them bred at a breeding colony in Florida, Disney World, and we take them at eight weeks of age and have them hand-raised by people. Mm. So from a very early age, they become accustomed to being around people and living in homes. Mm. You know, let me put her away. Okay. She's just, yeah, she's just she, too, she's, uh, she's distracting me. I'm yeah, sorry. <laughs> She's also not used to act. Don't get all excited. Okay. You know, I take many days. I've taken her out, and she's content to sit on my lap. Right now, there's too much out there worth exploring. Okay. Yes. Okay. Steer her along. I know. She's pretty used to it. <laughs> <laughs> I just tell you, she got out just a few days ago. She accidentally and, picked and, it or something? She took off one of the hinges on her cage and managed to. But the door was locked, so she couldn't get out of the room. But she then proceeded to take all the mops and brooms and gave each monkey a toy to play with. You know, we walked in, they all had mops and brooms. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if she could pick locks, she'd have let them all loose. Okay? <laughs> yeah. They'd be all over the place. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll pick up again. I'm sorry. And you, and you might, might want, want to just chuck your, uh, your uh, Thank you. collar there in. Okay. And if you want to repeat some of them, just because she was okay. so jumping around. That's true. Yeah. You can decide uh, then which ones you think are acceptable. Okay. Uh, yeah. The, um, let's see, you said why you did it. Um, you all said? Okay. So, uh, so this is Sneaks here, huh? Sneaks. Uh, sneaks? Sneaks? Give me five, Sneaks. High five. All right, all right. <laughs> My man. <laughs> very, very intelligent. Um, <laughs> apparently, he's a potential basketball player. I, I, <laughs> sneaks. Easy job. Easy job. Easy job. Easy job. Easy job. Easy job. <laughs> Is a good girl. Good girl, Willie. Are you working? Are you working? Come on. Are you working? Are you working? <laughs> good girl, Willie. Good girl. You got your own cheek. Good girl. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> you just went out of practice. Come on. You don't try to do it. You, uh, you know. Can you? Ready? Look at this guy. Ready? Come on. Over here. Ready? Bucket. Bucket, man. Come on. Ready? Here we go. Bucket. Come on. Come on. Like, what are they looking at? Oh, man. Slam it up here. Come on. Do your magic dance. Ready? I know, that's right. <laughs> Take that, uh, whatever. And is he dropping stuff? No, that's the food. Okay. Here we go. Take your rolling and <clears throat> another interesting aspect about <clears throat> another interesting aspect of this helping hands program is that these monkeys are provided to quadriplegics free of charge. But the government research money and corporate funding that have made that possible for so long is running out. And Dr. Willand is now looking to Congress for help. This fall, <laughs> sorry, one more time. Oh, it's going I know, I know, sorry. <coughs> and, <coughs> and <coughs> another interesting aspect, he doesn't have food though. Do we have another piece of apple so that he doesn't go crazy on me? <laughs> Because now, because now he'll eat anything. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Shoot. That was a good one. Yeah. I'll get a band-aid later, I guess. <laughs> but anyway. All right. <laughs> no, no. He got a good piece of skin there. I'm gonna need stitches. Oh, he's got that in too. Like something been biting well, on that thumb already. No, that's uh, some go. No, he got that. And, oh, sure did. Uh, yeah. He did, he did. <laughs> the blood is coming, it's on its way. You got a napkin over there, by the way? Yeah, no, he, uh, as she was pulling him away, unfortunately, he got a, it was able to snare. It's like a cat bite, though. You wouldn't happen to have a napkin or something, would you? Oh, you live, Marcus, come on. Just, just a little something, just to, to just tap it a little bit before we go. Oh, that's a big apple. That's good. That'll yeah, hopefully yeah, keep, him, that'll keep him calm for a few minutes. Okay. All right. Uh, and and we'll, get, we'll get the stitches later. Okay, here we go. Uh, there you go. Thank you. Okay, now you get comfortable here, like you were before. Okay. Up, up, up. Calm down. Calm down now. Come on, Marcus. Get around his waist just like you were a little baby. Okay, there you go. There you go. Just stay comfortable. Don't, don't start grabbing me now. Thank you. <laughs> Eat, your Eat your apple. Get comfortable. And <clears throat> and <clears throat> <clears throat> another interesting aspect of the Helping Hands program is that these monkeys are provided to quadriplegics free of charge. But the uh, sorry. <clears throat> and another interesting aspect of the Helping Hands program is that these monkeys are provided to quadriplegics free of charge. But the government research money and corporate funding that have made that possible for so long is running out. And Dr. Willard is now looking to Congress for help. This fall, lawmakers will consider a bill to begin purchasing these helping hand monkeys for disabled veterans. For the 10 o'clock news, I'm Marcus Jones. That was good. That's all we're going to get on this. <laughs> And the finger. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Uh, now, 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 okay, now. <laughs> there you go. Whenever it gets comfortable. Oh, there goes the blood. Okay, so you do have a band-aid. Yeah, we do. Let me just, uh, just wrap. 